generally speaking, if your laptop runs out of battery, you need to find a power plug to charge it up. While there are some solutions to get around that, they are either very expensive or not practical at all. But with Ultrabox featuring a USB Type-C port for charging getting more and more popular, there is a much more elegant way to do that. Meet USB Type-C power banks designed for laptops. They are just like the ones for phones, but with special features for notebooks. As you can hopefully hear, I'm using a new microphone. But it isn't a lavalier microphone as I was using before, it is the 802020, as you can see here in the shot. Now please leave a comment down below if you prefer this one with a better audio quality but a big microphone in the shot, or the old solution with the little bit worse audio but no big microphone in the shot. Now for this review I will be using the 12 inch MacBook. But any other Ultrabook that uses USB Type-C for charging will be mostly the same. Before we get to the product itself, I wanna talk a bit about why USB Type-C is such a big deal. Most of you probably know that a standard USB 2.0 cable has four wires. Two for power and two for data. By using a wall adapter, you can supply whatever device you connect with 5 volts. For normal gadgets like phones, this is totally fine, as they are using a battery that uses 3.7 volts, generally speaking. But with USB Type-C, you have 12 wires you can work with. This is the same as in USB 3.1. Also, there isn't only 5 volt supported. There are other voltages supported as well, and it detects automatically which voltage it should send. This is a big deal, as you now can charge all of these devices as well, and not only phones. That way, it can support other electronics like a MacBook, which uses a higher voltage than 5 volts. While it is possible to connect your MacBook to a standard 5 volt power supply, and it gives the MacBook a bit of extra life. You can't cha charge your battery fully and it is really slow. This is the reason why I got this power bank from Xtor or Xtorm or however you want to pronounce it. It not only has 12,000 milliamp hours which can charge up your phone like four or five times, but also it supports USB Type-C, but funny enough, the USB Type-C port on this power bank isn't the one you connect to, it's only the input. But right besides it, you have a port that supports 5 volts, 9 volts or 12 volts. And that's really special, as you can now use this to charge up your MacBook, because you can have 12 volts. There is an intelligent circuit integrated that automatically detects what kind of device you have connected and then sends the appropriate voltage. I also have to assume that there is some sort of voltage step up electronics in here as you can charge this power bank with standard 5 volts input only. This makes it a really awesome companion as you get about double as much battery life out of your MacBook this way and you can also charge it up quite quickly. If you are using a normal phone, it is brilliant as well, and you can charge up to two normal devices from it at the same time. Now this specific power bank isn't the only one that is available, I just took it because it was available locally to me, but there are some great options from Anchor and other big power bank manufacturers. Included in the box with this model was the power bank, a USB Type-A to Type-C cable and a micro USB cable to charge up older devices that haven't adopted the Type-C standard yet. Another bit special thing about this power bank is that if you plug in your device through the USB port it doesn't charge automatically. You will first have to press the button on the side and then it will 
not only display you how much charge there is left, but it will also char start charging. You can also press this button at any time to check how much charge there is available. And by long pressing it, you can stop charging the device that is connected to it. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below and also consider subscribing. I have Twitter and Instagram handles as well if you wanna check them out. They are linked down in the description. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and until next time.